Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at getting started with Blend for Visual Studio 2022. So if you are looking to design stunning XAML based applications, you are in the right place. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. So Blend for Visual Studio is a powerful tool for designing XAML based applications. So whether you are working on WPF, UWP, XAML forms, etc. It provides a rich set of design tools that makes it easier to create visually appealing interactive user interface. Yeah. So to get started, you will need to have Visual Studio 2022 installed. Blend is included with a universal Windows platform development and .NET desktop development workloads. So once you've once you have the Visual Studio opened, you can switch to Blend by selecting View and designing Blend. So, but we look at all of that. Yeah. So, as you can see on the screen, I've got a Visual Studio installer opened. So, to make sure we've got Blend installed, let's click on the Modify. So here, as you can see, we've got a bunch of workloads that we can install to our visual, uh, with our Visual Studio 2022. So let's look at the .NET desktop development. So this will actually help you build WPF, Windows Forms, console applications, applications using C, C Sharp, Visual Basic, F Sharp with .NET and .NET Framework. Okay. So once we select this piece or we click on this here, so we've got this. On the right hand side open here yeah? so this is the the main workload that is included here yeah? so these are the optional ones that you can add to your uh, to your installation okay so if you scroll down as you can see we've got uh, this box checked here blend for visual uh, for visual studio so you got to make sure that you've got this box checked so you can click if you've already installed visual studio it will appear modify here or download while installing I mean install while downloading okay so once you've got that downloaded and installed, then we can close the, uh, the Visual Studio installer and, and launch our Visual Studio, okay? So while the Visual Studio is being opened, Okay, it's already open. So let's go ahead and click on uh, continue with our code. So here we've got a blank Visual Studio solution open. So we go ahead and, and create a very simple WPF um, project. So we click on the new project. So here I've selected C sharp. So let's type in WPF. So here, as you can see, we've got WPF um, application here. So it is just a project for creating a .NET WPF application. So we we we, we select this and we click on the next. So here you can configure your project details like the project name, the solution location, the solution name and whatnot. Okay. We're not going to look too much into that, but obviously you can have a look, you can pause the video and have a look. Okay. So we click on the next. So here we can select our, our framework. We're just going to leave it as it is. Okay. And we click on the create. So it might take a while, so I'm just going to pause the video while the, the project creates. So now, as you can see, we've got um, WPF application created for us. Okay, so it's, it's still loading up, yeah. But for some reason, my project—I mean, my 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 my, my, my laptop—is a little bit slow. So we click on the click on the work. I mean, I'm just going to pause it. Okay, so we click on the project. Right-click on this project, yeah. So here, so
So actually, we right click um, the, the main window.xaml on the, the XAML file instead, not the project here. So, so once we right click, as you can see, we've got this design in blend. So we, we click on the design in blend. So this will actually, this will automatically open the, the project in Blend for Visual Studio. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause the video while the, the Blend opens. So as you can see here now, we've got a, so it's a, it's a, it's a new, I'm, this is the first time I'm opening it. That's why it's asking for the account details. So we're just going to skip for now. I'm still going to have to pause the video again. So as you can see now, we've got a WPF application opened in Blend. Yeah, so let's have a look at the, the Blend. So on the left, you will find the Tools panel, which contains the various tools for creating and modifying objects. So the assets, which is, which is this bit here. So the assets, the assets window, accessible via the view here here so uh, access it via the view or by pressing that you can press the control alt x yeah to get that it contains all the controls styles media effects and all that you can use okay and we've got um, we've got a bunch of it. We're not going to look too much into this as this video is just to get us started. Okay. So here, right now, we've got the we've got the the main window .cs opened. Okay. So let's go back to the solution. So here, we're just going to open the main window .xaml. So this will actually open the um, the design bit. Okay. So it might take a while, so I'm just going to pause the video again. So it's okay, it's opening now. So here we've got the design bit. So here, obviously, you can start with your design. You can also switch back to the Visual Studio. So this is our Visual Studio. So what we what we do is we just go we go to the two bar. I mean two box, okay. So inside the toolbox, we can we, we 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 expand all the WPF controls. So here we've got a bunch of controls that you can add to your uh, to your window. So what we're going to do is just gonna drag and drop this button here. So we've got the button here. So let's go ahead and 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 make the, and change the color of the background. So this is all inside the Visual Studio, okay? So the background, let's make the background color something. Let's make it red or pale violet red, something like that. Okay. So this is what we get here. So let's go back. So this is inside the Visual Studio. Let's save it and go back. To the blend so as you can see once we open the blend we've got the the update the one we've just updated on the visual studio taking effect straight away so basically you can switch design and code seamlessly from blend and visual studio okay so i will leave it here for you to explore further okay but i will, I will actually make a video on other, other um, on other projects as well. So in th for this case, we actually use that. Uh, we actually use that WPF. So that's a quick overview of getting started with Blend for Visual Studio. With these tools, you can create beautiful and interactive user user interfaces for your applications. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more videos. Thanks for watching and happy coding. Bye-bye.